Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Mary's Outdoor Kitchen, Cooking in Isolation. <laughs> I hope you're all well. I'm just waiting for a few people to come on before I start cooking. Um, been having a little bit of fun today with uh, my friend Maureen. Hi, Mary. How are you? And Kathy Wilson, did you get your roof fixed? <laughs> I just wondered about that. Hi Donna, how are you? Just wait for a few of you to come on. Hey Maureen, how are you? I'm just going to talk about you. <clears throat> I was on with my friend Maureen who's on here right now. Hi Jane. And you'll see my hula hoop behind me. Well, she has given me the technique. So now <laughs> I think I'm going to become a hula hoop expert. Hi Deborah, how are you? And Helen? And Rosie, how many of you girls are on your own? Hi, Rusty. Loved your picture the other day, your new profile picture you put on. So Maureen's given me all the lessons on the hoop. Watch out, Cindy DeLude. Watch it, because I'm right behind you. And Glenda, I don't know if Glenda's come on. Hi, Emma, how are you? Emma, I want you to do a live for some of us girls doing the lashes. Will you do that? Let me know if you can. I would love that so much whilst drinking a glass of wine and trying to put magnetic eyelashes on. That would be fun. Another 100 degrees today, Debra. Oh my God, you're in Las Vegas, aren't you? Yeah, I think you're in Las Vegas. Hi, Karen and Debbie and Angela. Oh, the ceiling's still drying out. That's great. Yeah, it takes a little while. It takes probably a good 48 hours or maybe two or three days to dry out. Hi, Rose. How are you? Hi, Kathy and Julie. Good morning from sunny California. Woo. Yeah, I heard it's going to be about 100 out there. Oh, thank you. Hi, Terry. And Peter, how are you? Hi, Kitchen Angel. I love it. Thank you, Peter. Uh, well, Maureen, thanks to you. I now know how to hula hoop without it falling falling down to my ankles. Hi Fiona, how are you? You're very welcome. I'm glad. I hope Duncan wrote down all the cider tips. <laughs> That'll be fun for the Perry Bar. Hi Angela. Yes, I'm just hearing it's going to be really hot. You're frying pork chops, onions and mushrooms. My goodness, Rusty, that sounds delicious. And Janice from Newport. Hi. And Allie, how you doing? Yeah, I think you're right, Kathy. Let it dry for a, a good bit, uh, five or six days. I don't know how that happened to you, but it must have been water involved. What am I cooking today? Well, I'm cooking a roasted cauliflower with a lovely cheese sauce. Now, what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've roasted my cauliflower ahead of time because it would have taken obviously way too long in this video to do this. Hi Lorna, how are you? You're gonna love this one, Lorna. Roasted cauliflower and cheese sauce. And my thought is no Sunday roast dinner is complete without this served as a side dish. This is really lovely and I decided to roast it, something different. Normally I just boil it and then I put the cheese sauce. But I don't know if you've ever tried Roasted cauliflower, this takes you to a new level. Okay, that was really easy to do. Hi Jenny, this is, cut your whole cauliflower head up into florets, like I've done here, into little pieces. Put them in a bowl and put about two tablespoons of olive oil in there, some sea salt, some pepper, and some chili flakes, if you like chili flakes. Put your oven up to about 200, and then roast these for 20 or 25 minutes, okay? So you can see I've got them lovely and brown, so they're all ready. So we had to prep that up beforehand, so I was able to show you. But for you clean eaters out there and you don't want to eat with cheese, uh, cheese, extra cheese sauce and stuff, these are beautiful on their own as a wee snack. They're absolutely lovely. This dish is not only a side dish that I'm serving, but you could also serve it as a vegetarian dish if you wanted. Hey, Pat Moat, how are you? And Mary Lynn, great to see you. And Laurie Jo, degrees not dogs. <laughs> and Jennifer from Australia, how are you down under? <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to thank Maureen today for showing me how to hula hoop. We did a, 
uh, virtual hula hooping uh, lesson, which was great, really helped me a lot. And also Maureen's in the process of making me, I think some of you may have seen my great big Christmas wreath on my door in Chester Street at Christmas time. And um, I hate taking it down once it's up because it's so darn beautiful and she made it for me. Hi Linda Craig and Sue and Barbara, Christine. And she made it for me and she's just going to make me um, an NHS rainbow colored wreath, which I'm going to hang on the door. Uh, outside of Chester Street when she gets it all made. I'm really excited now. <laughs> it's going to be really beautiful. Can't wait for that. Thank you, Maureen. Thanks for thinking about it. I actually, when we were on our conversation, I meant to ask you about it, uh, to, to make me one for the Chester Street door, but I didn't know if you'd be able to get a big enough hoop because our door is about 48 inches wide, so we need a big, you know, it's got to have presence. So anyway, what we're going to do, girls, here, uh, hi, Kimberly and Lisa. Uh, we're going to make a roasted cauliflower uh, with a cheese sauce. So really what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a simple cheese sauce. Okay, It really only requires four, four ingredients. I think I forgot to put one of the ingredients in on the uh, list up there, which I'll edit later on. I forgot to put, this is a secret, secret ingredient. Um, this is uh, English mustard hot English mustard, Coleman's hot English mustard. Hi Chris from Turkey, how's things in Yalakovac? And Angie? Oh Maureen, go big or go home Maureen saying about my wreath. Yeah, we need to make it probably the size of this hula hoop. <laughs> hey Kimberly, hi. So we're gonna do a really easy cheese sauce. That's I said is my secret ingredient that I like to put in. I like to put about a good heap teaspoon of that in. And um, first thing we're going to do, I just want to make sure you can see everything here. So I try to get most of my little bits and pieces out of the way because I like you to see what's cooking in Mary's kitchen. <laughs> I had to put the brolly up today before maintenance came. <laughs> hey Trish, how are you? And Linda? Um, Chris, what's the weather like in Yalakovac just now? I'm interested. Hey Marcia, hi. And thank you for your kind wishes, Marcia. A few of my friends on here know that I have a, managed to get to the doctor the other day, and my friend Lorna knows this too. I've been suffering a wee bit but with pain behind my knee, and it's <laughs> turned out to be what they call a baker's cyst. And I know some of you now, we've talked about it, have had it. I've never heard of it before. And it's just a fluid buildup at the back of your knee, and it makes it very excruciatingly painful to lift your leg going upstairs or to... Once you get walking, it's okay. But anyway, that's my little troublesome things going on at the moment. So I'm hoping that it, I'm going to get some relief from it soon. I'm going to start icing it and things. Now I know what it is, so uh, the worry is kind of gone. <laughs> Hi, Julie. Hey, Magda, how are you? Great to see you. Are you back at work yet? Oh, Rusty, you've had one. I know. Hey, Jeanette, how are you? Enough about you. <laughs> Jeanette and I's favorite saying. Oh, enough about me. Let's talk about you. What do you think about me? That's what we always say to each other. And still, 20 years later, we're still laughing about it. I don't know. We're crazy. Hi, Stuart. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you. What am I cooking? Why am I cooking outside? Oh no, I'm just, <clears throat> Sue, I just like to cook out here once in a while. And I've got this little uh, induction, one pan induction, and it's nice. You can hear the birds singing and everything out here. It's lovely. It's a lot more birds than it used to be. Hi, Rose and Bonnie. Okay, girls, so there's quite a few of you on here now, and so I think I'll get started. This is a really, really simple cheese sauce. I've already roasted the cauliflower, uh, if, you did, if you missed that earlier. Uh, there you go. And Bonnie, how are you? <laughs> I roasted the cauliflower, uh, put it in a bowl, I cut it up into florets, I put it in a bowl, put some olive oil, sea salt and pepper, and some chili flakes. Roasted in the oven at 200 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, after 20 minutes, if you look in and it looks kind of like this, just turn the oven off and leave it in there. All right, you get it. It's really lovely. It gets a really, really nice uh, nutty up a little hair in my eye. 
Okay, so let's get on with this cheese sauce. I've got about two to three ounces of butter here. You know I'm not a great measurer, but I do try and put the correct measurements up there for you because I know some of you don't cook. Hi, Susan, my niece is on from Canada. How are you, Susan? I hope you're wearing your mask at work now. Susan's in charge of a very, very busy McDonald's in uh, Perth, Ontario. And they're all having to wear, they're mostly doing just takeaway. Obviously, the restaurant's not open at the moment. But all my friends in Florida, I think all your restaurants, apparently Ricky T's and Treasure Island, just packed to the doors. I don't know what's going on. My goodness, I think it's a bit too soon. We're, we're locked in for three more weeks now. All right, I'll be pulling my hair out by the end of that. But <laughs> at least I'll know how to hula hoop. That's the one good thing. Hi, Laurie. How are you? Susie, how you doing anyway? You doing okay over there in Canada? My niece Susie, she's on her own. I, hope to, I was hoping that she got herself a bicycle, but I don't think she managed to get one. But anyway, we're going to let this uh, butter melt, and we're going to make what's called a roux, R-O-U-X. And that's, we're going to mix some flour into here, and we're going to make it, you'll see, it's going to turn into a kind of a paste. But I want that butter to melt first, and I don't want it to burn, so I've got it on a very low heat. So, and then I'm going to mix some flour into this, and then we're going to mix uh, a little bit of milk, and then I'm going to put my mustard, and then I'm going to put my cheddar cheese in. Hi, Elaine. Hey, Chuck. How are you? I miss seeing you at the Don Cesar for those wonderful cocktails, but I believe you're pretty busy in real estate now. Good to see you on here. Anyways, Chuck would be desperate to get out fishing, I'm sure. All right. So maybe you could get a bicycle online, Susie, if you tried. Might be able to. Lots of people are buying things online at the moment. Okay, so we got our butter just about melted, and I've got this on a low heat. I've got it on three. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add about four tablespoons of flour to here. I add more if it's not thick enough. Okay, so we'll just see how that is first. I'm just gonna, and this, it's important to do it this way because if you just mix your milk, butter, and, and cheese and everything together, it's gonna become very lumpy. So you wanna get kind of a paste going here. I'm gonna even put it just a touch more because this is a thickener. No, don't be frightened. This is just a regular flour I'm using here. Just a normal plain flour. But if you want to use a gluten-free flour, go right ahead. Okay? I wouldn't suggest coconut flour or anything like that. You could use a tapioca, but it doesn't turn out quite as well. So I'm just going to let that cook, the flour and the butter, for a little bit. I'm just going to put a little touch more flour. It's, I do most of my cooking by eye, as you probably can see. And I'm just going to let that bubble a little bit and make a nice little... Actually, I'm just going to add my mustard in here right now because uh, I want a teaspoon of hot English mustard in here. I'm going to be very generous. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. There. Okay. There's a lot of ingredients that I have to have in my cupboard in order to... I have to have chilies. I have to have garlic, I have to have ginger, I uh, have to have various mustards from hot, from Dijon, uh, to whole grain mustards. There we go. Now you see that's getting quite into a nice little paste there, and that's what I want. That's what you call a roux, all right? That's a, it will thicken up our milk and help to our, make our cheese sauce. So I've got some milk here. I'm going to put, I don't know, about two pints, so that's 40 ounces. So I'm probably going to put half of this in, about 20 ounces. I'm trying to convert it because everything over here is in liters and pints and mills and I try to convert everything for you to ounces. So just keep stirring. You don't want it to be lumpy. And then everything will melt in nicely, she says, she hopes. <laughs> well, I've never had one go wrong yet. Yeah, it's starting to get creamy now. It's just the amount of liquid you add. You've got to keep adding liquid. Add it slowly. Don't add it all at once. 
it takes a little bit of time, so be patient. Hi, Amanda from Dumfries. How are you? And Kathy. Pamela, nice to see you. Broadhead, nice to see you. <laughs> oh, you do it all by sight, too. Yeah. Pamela, you got the most beautiful garden over there in Florida. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we got to just keep going and going and adding more. So you see it's quite thick. That's why I never know how much milk I'm actually going to add because I just add until I know that it's at the consistency I need. Just keep whisking and whisking. You don't want any lumps. You want a nice creamy cheese sauce. And that's what we're aiming for. So just keep whisking it around. So that so far what we did was we melted uh, about three ounces of butter in there and we've got about four tablespoons of flour to make ourselves a roux. And you can see it's getting very creamy and lovely now. Almost like a little mashed potato. Yeah, this is the texture I'm wanting. I'm looking for a really creamy mashed potato. I just add it slowly. Don't be in a rush, whatever you do. Hey Debbie, outside is best cooking. Well, if you girls like in the Florida or anybody's got a bar outside, Fiona, I know you got a bar outside. These little induction cookers are great. Even if you have a barbecue, these are great for cooking like things like, say you want to do some garlic mushrooms with your barbecue or something like that. You should see what I'm serving this cauliflower and cheese. I'm going to show you before I'm finished. I hope I have enough. I hope I didn't put too much flour. <laughs> I don't think so. It'll be alright. Just keep stirring. Probably used a bit more than 20 ounces of milk, but that's fine. Now I'm also going to put one vegetable nor stock cube in. I, I like that because I like to use that instead of using salt. And also it just gives a little extra flavor, a little zap to it. Hey Wendy, hi. And Pamela, how are you? <laughs> Oh, this is going to be delicious, don't you worry. <laughs> For sure. Hi, man, and good morning. How's things in Canada? We got the cider on the go. We got one brew going at the moment called COVID-19. And the reason it's called COVID-19 is because I couldn't get all the apple juice from one place. It was from about six or seven different places because they would only sell two. Uh, so I had to get several. Oh, this is ages ago. This is before the complete, complete lockdown. There we go. We're getting a nice creamy, creamy sauce. I'm going to put some uh, pepper in here. I'm not going to put salt because I put the stock cube in already. All right, so that'll give it enough salt. And I will, of course, Pamela Broadhead, put in some chilies. These are just flake chilies, of course. I'll just put a few in because I want the rest for my chicken. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Stir, 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 stir. That's what we're doing. Jeanette, are you at home cooking today? <laughs> Hi, Linda. <laughs> oh, thank you, Manon. There we go. So we got a nice little bit more milk to to uh, mix in there. There we go. See, I just have to measure. I, I can't really give you an exact measurement of milk because I just do it really to eye. Now I've got a really nice, really lovely cream sauce there. Kind of like what they call a vegetable sauce with no cheese in it. And now we're going to flavor it up with some cheese. And we're going to put maybe about a cup or maybe more. And let's just let that melt in nicely. I love making cheese sauce. It's a bit therapeutic. Hey, Victoria. And hi, Jules and Rusty and Robin. <laughs> hey, Sa Susan. I hear Ricky T's is open on Treasure Island. Oh, oh. It's all going on in Florida at the moment. I don't know if you're coming out too soon or what. 
But anyway, I guess time will tell. My friend Gail said to me they're opening the hotel in June, the middle of June, which is great. So hopefully uh, that will get them back on track because they just built the hotel and unfortunately uh, this came on and we had to close it. So let me just taste this. Oh, oh, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Of course, I'm going to say that, aren't I? But it is. You can put some mixed herbs in there if you want it. You know, you can put some tarragon in there if you want it, if you want more tarragon -y flavor. Anyway, that's just perfect. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push this over. Just as well, I thought of putting the umbrella up beforehand because it is now raining. So I'm going to move the cheese sauce over there. I'm move that there. And I'm going to bring my beautiful Spanish bowl over here. Can you see that okay? Let's just get that out of my way so I don't hit it. No. So I'm going to put my cauliflower in here. I baked this earlier, roasted it, and it's very delicious just on its own like that roasted if you don't want to put a cheese sauce or anything on it. There we go. Okay. I'm going to put a bit of the cheese sauce in now. I'm going to turn that off now. Give that a, make sure that's all coated nicely. Need a little bit more in there now. This time. Just gonna put all that in. Calories, calories, calories. Yes, but you're sharing this, right? So you're sharing your calories with other people. So you don't need to worry about calories. Just coat all your um, cauliflower and each lovely cheese sauce. Now what I like to do is I like to add a few little extra things, of course. And when you cook this in the oven, this is going to go all lovely and brown and crispy. I like to add <clears throat> a little bit of, um, in fact, you can mix. I've got a, some one uh, slice of wholemeal bread here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix a little bit of cheese in with that. And I'm just going to sprinkle that with some breadcrumbs mixed in with the cheese just to give it a really nice appearance. And that'll get all nice and crunchy and brown. And it'll come out of the oven looking absolutely fantastic. I'll just use this up. Don't like to waste. Okay, so there we go so far. I am going to add uh, some tomatoes. And I've got some little cherry tomatoes here. I've got some orange ones, and I've got some red ones. And I've just cut them up small, like that. And I'm just going to place those on my dish. I like a little tomato with my cauliflower. It really tastes nice. And I don't know how many, probably I've cut up about five of each color, something like that. It doesn't really matter how many. You can put slices of tomato on there as well. One thing I forgot is something to wash my hands. And then I'm going to sprinkle just a tiny, tiny bit more cheese on top of here. Just so it goes all lovely and colorful when I'm finished. There we go. Simple dish, right? Simple dish to make while you're in isolation. How's that? Now what you're going to do is you're going to put that in the oven at about 375 and you're going to bake that for about 20 minutes because remember your cauliflower is already soft. So I hope you enjoy that. And what I'm going to do with mine, hi Aileen, I didn't see you come on earlier, so how are you doing? I hope you're okay. And Fran and Trish, how's your chilies doing Trish? <laughs> Trish is the chili queen. I am so jealous she can really grow those plants. Uh, a whole new meaning, Rusty says, to cauliflower. Yeah, it is a whole new meaning to cauliflower. 
it makes it exciting. And this is what I'm going to be serving it with this evening, a roast chicken. And what I've done is I've cut two garlic bulbs in half, so they're underneath the chicken. I've cut up a uh, lemon, as you can see, and I've cut up another lemon in quarters, and I've got some carrots under there too. So that's all going to roast together. I've covered it in some uh, chili flakes, I've covered it in some hot sauce, and olive oil. So anyway, it's going to taste really, really good, and that's ready to, to eat. So. What are you making? Fran, what I'm making is I just made a roasted cauliflower and cheese sauce. So the best thing, if you haven't seen the video, you can go back and try it out. Oh, you're out at Aldi. Well done, Aileen. Good for you, getting your shopping done. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, I hope you do try it. Hi, Lucas, how are you? Lucas, Maureen's been teaching me how to hula hoop today. <laughs> you, actually, Maureen, Lucas can hula hoop better than I can. So that's our roasted, uh, roasted cauliflower. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. <laughs> roasted cauliflower and cheese sauce. And I went for a great walk on the beach earlier today. It was absolutely fantastic. And I, ma I mapped my walk. It looked like I was walking on water because the tide was way out. So I monitored the tide in the morning to see where it is because I walk over to a little island. And uh, I need to get back in time before the tide comes in. Hi, Sandy. No, this one isn't Sandy, but you'll find all the ingredients here above with the video. And if you like the video, feel free to share it with your friends. I don't mind. Um, it's a really easy recipe to make. And you can, if you watch, you need to watch the video to see how I made the cheese sauce, that's for sure. Okay, Pam, that's terrific. Well, listen, girls, thank you. Thanks so much, Trish. Thanks for coming on. And uh, I hope they enjoyed that. And hope you're not too lonely there in isolation or uh, the house is too full of too many people <laughs> and you're going stir crazy. Uh, get out for a walk, whatever you do. But I understand a lot of your places are now opening, so we're still closed down for another three weeks, so I'll be doing plenty of recipes for you during that time. So have a wonderful day. Remember, if you see someone without a smile, give them yours. Thanks for coming on. Lots of love to y'all. Take care. Be safe. Stay home.